Hey everybody, this is Matt. I'm making a video because I wanted to show a product I just got. So I, I, st I started playing the game about January of this year. And the game had been out for a bit before that. So I missed out on some stuff. Well, no, I couldn't find this item in my local area. And although I've seen it on eBay before, I didn't really get one. Bef I didn't try to get one because the shipping would be kind of high. But I finally found one in a store in Greenville, South Carolina last night. And I had to buy it. And it is the Tetsurian Razor Kinder Battle Decks. Very cool. Now I ordered one of, ordered one of these guys online. But I don't have any of him. So there will be two of him and one of him. I think this is the very first item they came out with. Um, I'm thinking. So I wanted to open it up. I kind of already have kind of done some things so I guess these slide out you got two promos in the front so that's kind of cool uh, okay so we have two theme decks no theme decks these are really nice boxes um let me get this off there you go I like the art on it I like the uh the art's really kind of spooky, but um, I like how it has a, a nice touch to it. Um, it has like a little lock or something. Razor Kinder Puppet of My Asthma Pit. I guess it's talking about it. Mm. Let's see. How do you get this thing open? Let's see. You just... Oh, okay. You just kind of lift. It, sure. You just pop... Okay, you pop it out. There you go. So it's like magnetic. That's kind of cool. Open it up. You got like a, a a play mat, empty thing. Here's the deck it comes with. This thing lifts out if you need it, but uh, so you can see into it. You can put two decks in there, and this thing comes out. This divider thing comes out. Uh, this is really cool art. Is this what this is? Is this what Razor Kinder Puppet looks like? Holy cow, he's scary. If I was a young kid, that scared the crap out of me. That's a pretty cool little box. Um, you know, comparing it to... Ooh, can't see it. To this thing, this feels sturdier. Feels like almost a nicer material. A thicker material. I mean, you can see this is really thick. This is very, very thick. And this is, you know, not as thick. This is paperish. All this seems like. You can just tell the difference. Uh, I probably would use the other thing better just because I like it can hold cards differently, but this is really nice. This is really nice. Um, let's open up the other one. Cool. I probably should have unwrapped everything first, but oh well. Tatsurian the Unchained. Oh, think about it. If it came with one of those, that'd be a pretty freaking expensive deck. I mean, I know that's one of the most sought-after cards in this game. Another Thamajigger. Another one of these. Oh, you can't even see it. So, it comes with two of these. Uh, one in each deck. It'd be a great little product to buy for, uh, you know, two players looking to, looking to, like, try out the game for the first time. Here's the deck box. I like the art better on this one. <laughs> what does he have? Cannons on his back? Really? Tessarian the Unchained. I like the look of this one a little bit better too. I mean, they're both completely beautiful. You know, it's kind of like gold and silver. Like Pokemon gold and silver. Wait, wait. Okay, so this guy, he, he, the duelist is Ray. So I guess Ray has Tessarian. Tessarian and... Alakashmi. Alakshmi. I don't know. That's a weird name. Okay. Let's see if I can get these decks open. 
Oh, I don't have a nail to get him open. That's the hardest part of these things. Getting these dang things open. Ow. Okay. Well, this is... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Boom. Boom, baby. Okay. This is like, it comes with like a, this is probably, uh, got a little thing. I'm going to put that up on my wall, definitely. I thought it's a bigger poster, though. Dang it. I still don't have any posters for the game. Well, now i got a small one. I'm bleeding. No, I'm not. That's okay. Anyways, um... So, you know, that, I think that's the very rare. That's cool. Um, code card. Uh, Blaze Belcher. Love the card. Such a good card for one drop. I mean, yes, it has to attack every turn. But, you know, some decks don't have a lot going on early game. And you can get some good shield breaks with that, you know. Comet Missile. Absolutely love the card. You know, just kill any blocker you want. It's great, and it's cheap. Uh, drag Glide the Swiftest. Let's see, 4 for a 2,000 fast attack. I guess it's okay because it has fast attack. Um, it could be a little bit stronger, but, you know, you could do other stuff with it. Uh, Flame Tropolis. Oh, <laughs> I've seen this card before. I think it has, like, the worst effect in the whole game, but that's just me, though. I mean... Okay, if he's your only creature in the battle zone, you're probably losing. But this creature gets becomes 8,000 double breaker. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Gatlin Sky Terror. Little Hissy. You can't see. You can't see the Hissy. That's a pretty good card, too. I mean, I mean Overcharge. Each of your creatures get plus 1,000 until the end of your turn and can attack untapped creatures. That's interesting. I I think that card could see potential. I mean, could see play. It's not Shield Blast, but it wouldn't make any sense for it to be Shield Blast because, yeah, you couldn't use it on your, your opponent's turn. But being able to attack untapped creatures, I think with some of these Firebirds coming out, being able to attack them just straight on and not having to use any kind of monster kill, that may be the best way of handling them. Um, because, you know, they're not going to attack with them. They're not going to tap them to attack or anything, so. Pyro Trooper. Boom. The reason my head's over here, instead of over here, is because I had to flip it so you could actually read the stuff. Um, Rock Bite. You know, some of the fire creature kill, I haven't really seen, like, a lot of use in. Um, it, the, the, the levels is different, you know, it's kind of weird. I mean, I guess... You know, I mean, I don't know, 3,000 or less for four? I mean, mm, I don't know. It just seems kind of weird. For four, you could get a four, a, co a, a t cost four or less uh, return to, I don't know, the nature version of it. I think that's, I don't know. <laughs> Simeon Trooper Grash. I saw that guy on the online game, and he freaked me to the heck out. Tornado Flame, another one that's like, oh, that's kind of cool, but I don't know. It just doesn't do anything for me. You know, I try to play it late game, and it's just like everything has more than 5,000 attack. That is really a threat. Only one of it, mm, but it is a rare. Okay. Ambush Bug. That's, that's evolution bait right there, dude. Brave Colossus. Bronze Arm Tribe, I love this card. Woo! Essence Self. Okay, now, this card, I kick butt in on Kajito Online. But I haven't actually tried them out in real life. And I think I'm going to because, you know, you don't think about much for 2 for 1,000. And you don't think it's going to have much of an effect. Oh, you only bump it by 1,000. But you get two of them out. And it really kind of changes things because now you know even if even in, even in a mirror match you know your guys are now you know one or two two thousand above the same copies of them you know it can make a bit of a difference you know 
it can it can make a bronze arm saber tooth being be able to kill a granger you know with two of these out you know and that's pretty important you know uh raging goliath each of your other beast can get plus two thousand power i actually want to try him on my nature deck but the thing is he's kind of expensive and he says each of your other ones so it kind of doesn't affect himself I mean, him in itself is like a double essence elf. I mean, that's true. If if you're playing it in a beastkin deck, which I think a lot of people mainly play beastkin nature stuff. So, return to the soil. This is the card I was trying to think of. I think this is better than the other one, just because this can get anything that's level four or less. And there's all kinds of you know level four. I mean, you can do a saber tooth. You know, even though saber tooth has seven thousand attack. I mean, seven thousand power. That's why I like that one better. Root Trap, great card, unconditional removal, and then it goes into mana, but yeah, whatever. Rumble, Rumbling Pterosaur, it's called, it's a Rumbling Pterosaur, okay. Sprout, one of my favorite cards in the game, just love it. I mean, I, if I could play 10 Sprout in a deck, I probably would, to be honest. Now I'm going to open up the other deck if I can get it open. Without cutting my finger open. There you go. Ha 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 ha. Foily is King Nautilus. Uh, seven. Let's see. Let me pull out the other Foily. Roman Blood... Blood main beastkin. That's always great. Seven four six thousand double breaker. This creature can't be blocked by creatures that have less power than it. That's really interesting. With two things. One is that 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 uh, guy before the boosts all beastkin up two thousand. And then there's you know also the drift and the 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 fairy thing that bumps it up one thousand. I think this card could see play, actually. I mean, it's a, it's a bit expensive, and that's a bad thing. But with nature, you always have mana acceleration. And uh, not being able to be blocked, that's pretty huge. I mean, that's that's King Neuron, you know? One of the great things about King Neuron is he can be blocked. This card has it built in, too. So um, Okay, so King Nautilus, Leviathan, pretty pitcher. Uh, whenever this creature attacks, you may draw two cards. Yeah, but it, it takes so long to get them out. I just don't know if it's going to happen that often. Uh, Aqua Seneschal. Useful card. Frog Zuka. Very useful blocker. One of the best blockers in water. Hydro Spy. I don't play him myself, but uh, he draws a card. Hydro Bot. Crab. Five for a four thousand. I don't get it. Undertow engine. How many I don't I think I think it's the only undertow engine there is. Hmm. Ice blade. It's really, really cheap. Bounce. And I like it because of that. King Pontius. Six for four thousand can't be blocked. That has a useful effect. Refi, another great blocker, really cheap blocker. This is a card I've been thinking about recently, Spy Mission. You know, I mean, you, you, you compare it to Logo Scan, that draws you two. This also draws you two, but this one's a Shield Blast, but it costs one more. I'm going to try swapping out the two of them and seeing if, because it's a Shield Blast, it perhaps uh, adds more to the value of it. Now, I mean, it... it you know, water tends to be a very tempo type car, uh, structured deck, so there may be, uh, you know, a huge importance on being able to, you know, play logo logo scan on turn three. But I will say, turn three is also when you want to play King Neuron. So perhaps lo Spy Mission is better, so you can play that on turn four. Spy Mission. Teleport. This is another card. I think it's interesting. You get to draw a card and bounce a creature. But it's not a spell blast. I mean a shield blast. So, hmm. 
I didn't know this was dark. Bone Blades. That's great monster kill. Um, you know what? It's kind of weird, you know, because the, the, the nature version of it, Return to Nature, I think it's called. It also costs four, I think. I think. I think, I think, I think. Let me see. Yeah, Return to the Soil costs four, but it puts it into the mana zone. This absolute, this just kills it. I mean, I could see how both could be beneficial. Well, I mean, really the only, only I think the only time the Return to Soil would be better would be against uh, a Hovercraft Gurgle, which I faced in one game, and it doesn't matter if you banish them or not, they'll just go back to their hand. So it's good to put them in the mana zone, but, I, you know, I don't know what they're thinking with, like, I guess they're just saying, okay, we're going to make it easier for Darkness to banish them. So we're going to give them, you know, an on par, four cost creature kill spell. Brain Squirmer. It is a Rotworm, which is great evolution bait for the new Rotworm evolution, which I actually like. Some people poo poo it. I like it. I think it's pretty cool, actually. Death Smoke. Banish target untapped enemy creature. That's interesting, but it's a bit expensive. I mean, they have to be untapped, you know? Mmm. Mmm. I don't know. I maybe would have had it a four. Dream Pirate. I love the name of it, though. Spectre. Dream Pirate. I love the name Dream Pirate. Blocker. Three for 3,000 blockers. Great. When this creature attacks, banish it at the end of the turn. Who cares? It's not going to be attacking. It's going to be blocking. Awesome blocker here. I want to see some Spectre evolutions because I think Dream Pirate's really, really cool looking. Yeah. Fumes. I haven't tried them out. But, you know, mm, seems alright. Gagaron. Gagar Dang, I screwed it up on the other video too. Gagargon. Um, it's alright. 8 for 9,000 is above curve. Grave Worm Hatchling, four for three thousand rot worm. Probably you're not 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 your best. Uh, probably not your best choice for evolution bait. But Horde Stinger. Each of your other rot worms gets plus two thousand power. Now that could actually see play with uh the new evolution because I think the new evolution is also a seven thousand like bronze arm saber tooth. Maybe six thousand. I think it may be six thousand. But this could bump it over Bronze Arm Sabretooth. Skeeter Swarmer Brain Jacker. Blocker. Two for a 4,000 blocker. When this creature, creature wins a battle, banish it. You know, I don't really like stuff like that. When it wins a battle, banish it. Because it's so easy for your opponent just to, like, sacrifice something on their end to get rid of your 4,000. Like, if I have a 1,000, like, Aqua Seneschal... You know, you just blocked one of my guys. I'd be like, okay, whatever. Sacrifice it, draw a card, and kill your 4,000 blocker, you know? Because it won a battle. So, I don't know. I think it's kind of um, situational. Um, Skull Cutter. Absolutely love this card for the same exact reason. It, 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 it Once it hits play, it... it controls the pace of it because it's only 1000 who cares it's gonna lose to pretty much anything it attacks or anything blocks it but that's what's so great about it because you can take anything with it you know you know your opponent has a blocker out a grandeur and going ha 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 you can't get past my 9000 and you like try to attack it blocks it you then go Oh, Skull Cutter by Granger. I mean, it's stupid. Okay, I'm really happy for this. Terror Pit. And why am I happy about this? Because I had two. I had two of them. Now I have three. <gasps> the magical number. Yay. Is this 19 minutes already? Holy. Sorry, people, for making these long videos. Okay. Awesome card. Zangin the Bone Knight. Interesting. Okay, so, um, tell you what I'll do, guys. Code card. This is like a 
super duper code card people. This is this came in the original package. Can't find, can't get that code card anymore. Nope, 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 nope. And and another code card. I like the online game. I just right now you can't really change your deck any, and that I don't like. So I get to play one deck over and over again, the nature deck, because that's my favorite deck. And the poster, the small little poster, it's a little bit bigger than eight and a half. Uh, it's a little bit longer than eleven inches, a little bit shorter than eight and a half. So I'm that's definitely going up on my wall. Where did that come from? That was in one of the decks. So do I have a second one? What's this? No, I don't know where that came from. Cards, deck boxes. I can happily say that I I bought every kind of Kaijudo product that's come out so far. So Wizard of the Coast, keep making more Kaijudo products. Don't stop, cause Kaijudo rules. And look, uh, I have patches up, patches up. Woo! And I put up some packs on my wall. Okay, thank you for watching. Let me find my mouse so I can end this. Um, bye. Thank you for watching. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you like this channel, subscribe to it. I promise my future videos won't be 20 or 30 minutes. Thank you.